calls out of the uh, my business account here, uh, which was all that was in there. Took 13 years to get it, and less than 13 seconds, I guess, to take it away. Lyndon McClellan is a convenience store owner in rural North Carolina, and the latest in a string of small business owners targeted for civil forfeiture under the structuring laws. These laws were intended to apply to criminals seeking to evade bank reporting requirements, but they're increasingly applied to people whose only supposed offense is doing business in cash. This is all I've ever done. I was raised in the store business. Uh, I'm here 12, 13 hours a day, seven days a week. To make this kind of money selling soft drinks, cigarettes, and hot dogs, somebody's got to work, okay? It wasn't just handed to us. It was taken from us, but it wasn't handed to us. Civil forfeiture allowed the government to take Lyndon's money without convicting or even charging him with a crime. And now those same civil forfeiture laws I mean, Lyndon has to fight the government in order to get his money back. Well, you know, I thought, well, do, do you quit now? Do you, do you try to keep struggling and go on? And I chose to, to try to keep going and, and move forward with my business. It's hard to overcome this kind of loss in today's business world. This wasn't supposed to happen. After similar cases came to light at the end of 2014, the government changed its policies to bar seizures in these kinds of cases. But federal officials in the field are not respecting the IRS policy change. The IRS says this is wrong, and all I want is the government to follow the new rules in this case. Nobody's above the law, and, and not even the federal government. If they're wrong, they're wrong. And I feel like this is wrong. That's why I'm asking for help in trying to uh, recover my money, and anybody else that's had this to happen to them needs to do the same thing. I mean, it's not right.